Hi guys, welcome back to Learning Cebuano Fast. So you can maybe go ahead and repeat after me. So let's start with wait. Kadiut lang. When you want to stop someone from saying things so fast and you want them to stop, you would have to say, Kadiut lang. Kadiut lang. Kadiut lang. Palihog. So you can add the palihog. Palihog means please. Then when you want someone to repeat what they were trying to say, you would have to say when you say please repeat or osba palihog. Osba means repeat palihog please. Osba palihog. Repeat after me. Osba palihog. Osba palihog. What did you just say? So when you want to ask somebody in Cebuano, what did you just say? You will have to say, Unsay imong gisulti. Unsay imong gisulti. Unsa means what imo you. Sulti means speak. Or what did you just say? So, Unsay imong gisulti. Repeat after me. Unsay imong gisulti. Unsay imong gisulti. Unsay imong gisulti. Unsay imong gisulti. What did you just say? So, when you want someone to speak slowly, when you ask somebody slowly, please, you would have to say, Hinay hinay lang palihog. Hinay hinay means slow down. Palihog means please. Hinay hinay lang palihog. Hinay hinay lang palihog. Hinay hinay lang palihog. Hinay hinay lang palihog. When you want to ask what is flower in Cebuano, you would have to say, Unsay binisaya sa flower. Unsay binisaya sa flower. Flower means bulak. In Tagalog, they call it bulaklak, but we call it bulak or buwak. Buwak or bulak. It can work either way. So, what is flower in Cebuano. You would have to say, unsa ang flower sa Cebuano. Or, you can say, unsay binisaya sa flower. What is this? When you say, what is this? Whatever you want to ask, unsa kini. Unsa kini. Kini means this, this. When you're touching something, kini, kini. Unsa is what? So, when you ask, what is this? Unsa kini. Unsa kini. Then when you ask something, what is that? Like you are pointing something. Unsa kana. Kana means that. That kana. When you say this, kini. Kana, kana, that. Unsa kana. What is that? Unsa kana. Unsa kana. So, who is that? Who is that person? Who is that? So, when you say, when you want to ask who is that, when you say, who is that? Kinsa kana. Kinsa kana. Who is that? Kinsa. So, when you say, what is your name? Unsay imungalan. Unsa means what is your name. Kinsa means who is also who is your name. It's like, what is your name? Kinsay imung pangalan. Unsay imung pangalan. You could say either way. It's still correct. When you say, can you speak English? Makasulti ka ba og 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 English? Say it slowly. Makasulti ka ba og English? Makasulti ka ba og English? Makasulti ka ba og English? Then when someone says, Hello, gamay. Gamay, gamay, gamay. Gamay, hello. Is there a telephone here? Do na bay telepono din hi? 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 Then when someone says there is none, wala, wala. So next, let's move on to expressing lack of knowledge in something. So when you ask someone, who is she or who is he? You'd have to say in Cebuano, Kinsa siya, kinsa siya, kinsa siya, kinsa siya. So that's how you say it, who is she. 
because it's like you're talking about uh, third person. But when you talking about second person, who are you? Kinsa ka? Kinsa ka? Unsay imong pangalan. But when you talk about a third person, kinsa siya? So it doesn't mean if, if even if person is female or male, there's no changes. You still have to say kinsa siya. When you ask what is her name or what is his name, unsa iyang pangalan? Unsa iyang pangalan? Unsa iyang pangalan? So, let's move on to shopping, inquiring and complaining about a price. So when you say when you pick up something and you say how much is this? You'd have to say tagpila kini. Remember when I said kid this means kini. So tagpila is how much? Tagpila, remember tagpila. Tagpila kini. When you ask for can I get a discount, you'd have to say why hang yo? Taga iko discount bi? Taga iko og discount bi? Taga iko og discount. Thank you. When you want to say thank you, salamat. It's very easy to uh, remember. Salamat. Thank you. Salamat. Then, when you want to say you're welcome, why sapayan? Or you could say walay sapayan. But you you can also shortcut the walay. Walay means wala, wala, none. Uh, walay sapayan. You're welcome. So, when you want to say, when you want to ask, may I ask something? Mahimong mangutana? Mahimong mangutana? Or you could say, pwedeng mangutana. Pwede means, uh, can I ask questions? So, pwedeng mangutana. Then, when you say, sorry, pansinsya na, or pasailua ako, pasinsya na, pasinsya na. Excuse me, may I pass? Tabi, palihog. Tabi means, like, let me pass, please, palihog, you know. Tabi, please, tabi, palihog. I think the proper way to say when you want to say excuse me, me I pass, uh, the proper way to say it, tabi palihog, tabi like, you know, you, you ask them to get out of your way. Yeah, in a proper way. You would say, you would have to say, tabi palihog. Okay guys, that's it for the day. Thank you for watching Aurora's vlog. I hope you have enjoyed learning Cebuano with Aurora. If you love this video, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. Og magkita na sabta sa sunod nga panahon. Og magkita na sabta sa sunod nga panahon. And I will see you next time on my next video. Bye!